Hi, welcome to the Contra Costa County and Tri-Valley Elder Care Channel. I'm Stephanie. I work with Horizon Elder Line Estate Planning, and today I'm here with Quintella Griffin, a realtor with Wards Realty. Today, Quintella is going to tell us a little bit more about her background and why she got into real estate and how she helps seniors in our community. Hi, Quintella. Thanks Hi. for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, Quintella, tell me a little bit more about your background and how you got involved with real estate. Um, I started off as a paralegal, uh, legal secretary paralegal, and I was in the legal field for like 25 years. And then one day I said, I want to do something else and went back to school and became a real estate um, agent. And in 2015, I decided to pursue that career full time. And it's been, it's been great. It's been great. Awesome. Well, um, I, I've talked to you a little bit before we started here and I know you're passionate about helping seniors and all of the things that happen to them with family members and dynamics and things like that. Can you share a little bit about how your background helps you in, in seeing what's happening to seniors? Well, because I was in the, the legal field for 25 years, I can detect when there's fraud going on um, just by looking at documents. Um, I was able to sense that a senior was being forced into trying to sell her house um, when she really didn't want to. Um, there's a lot of misconduct and elder abuse going on and it just saddens me and I just want to do something about, about it to change it. That's great. Yeah. So what's the most common fear or reservation that people have clients in their families in selling their homes or in, in working with a realtor and things like that? What have you seen as fears in people hiring a realtor or selling their home or what have you, people downsizing? Well, I think that what I've come across so far, um, they're, con they're concerned about price, they're concerned about relocation. Um, what, are, what are some of the things that I've seen about uh, seniors who have passed away, there's been no estate planning done, and a lot of seniors have to go, or a lot of people have to go through probate. I've seen that. Um, I've seen people taking their trusts, um, taking taking their property out of the trust and not putting it back in to finance. Um, but with respect to finding a good agent, I think they're just generally concerned about is the person going to render the senior good service um, and be honest um, with with them? And I think that seniors, if they're going to sell their house, they should never be um, make that decision alone. I think there should be somebody there um, with them when they decide to list their house for sale. I completely agree. And one of the, one of your responsibilities or jobs when you're working with seniors is being a resource, right? And having That's correct. so many um, people at your fingertips to help with all the various situations. Tell us a little bit about how you handle referrals and things like that. <laughs> okay. Um, referrals, well, I, I have a, a book of attorneys that I work with. So, like, if it's probate, I will refer them to a probate attorney. If it's elder abuse, I will refer mm -hmm. them to an elder abuse. Um, I will contact social services. Um, they, there's an elder uh, abuse line that you can contact in Contra Costa County. Um, in, in other counties, too, not just Contra Costa County. Um, there's there's um, indigent um, legal representation services for seniors. Um, there's so many resources uh, for seniors that are available that um, they actually don't have access to because a, a lot of seniors don't use the internet. So 
because they don't use the internet, these resources are not really at their fingertips as quick as it would be someone who did uh, use the internet. Yeah, and I'm sure you have a lot of trusted people that you would refer to and and give um, to clients so that they're in good hands whenever you're referring them out. Um, my other question was, do you ever deal with hoarders and and cleaning out a lot of junk and <laughs> <laughs> to answer that question yes <laughs> to answer that question absolutely I mean part of being a real estate agent is just not quote putting the sign in front and smiling and saying hi I'm a real estate agent no um, there's things that I do as a real estate agent that I don't particularly care to do but if that's what it it calls for yes I clean houses I help the seniors move stuff I coordinate things for them I contact their family members I mean it's it's working together to help the senior I mean you're if you genuinely care about seniors yes you're going you're going to help them do all those things yes that's great <laughs> and I know you work with non-seniors as well as seniors so, so you you have a wide variety of clientele um, but I know that you're really passionate about helping people. We've talked a lot about this, and mm -hmm. and and you really truly care about the well-being of all of your clients, and so that's really awesome. Thank you. Um, is there anything else that you want to add about your specialty, your service, anything that sets you apart from anybody else? Of course. <laughs> well. Um again because I have the 25 years of legal experience and that is my background um, of 25 years in being a real estate agent for 11 years um, I specialize in probate sales uh, bankruptcy sales divorcing homeowners um, anything that's dealing with a, a legal matter and first-time home buyers um, I have multiple specialties and I like working not just with seniors, but everyone, anyone that I can help, anyone that I can help, um, either sell a home or buy a home. That's my goal in life. And what's your territory that you cover? I am a licensed real estate in the state of California. So I really don't have a particular um, territory, but if, if I had to say so, um, I'm all over. I'm just really all over the place. So, um, Antioch, Oakley, Richmond, Oakland, Sacramento. Um, so I'm in uh, Contra Costa County, um, Alameda County, uh, Sacramento County. <laughs> I've even crossed the bridge to San uh, to San Mateo County. So. I don't want to go outside. Um, I don't want to go to, like into Miller Park, the peninsula, but I do will cross the bridge from time to time. Well, great. Thanks so much for all this information. It's, I think it's been really great um, getting to know you and, <laughs> Thank you and learning more about your services. If you'd like to get more information about Quintella or her services, or you'd like to contact her to talk about selling your home or buying a home, you can find a link to her website on our on our elder care channel, um, and you can also call her at 925-237-1310. We thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for being here, Quintella. Thank you very much for inviting me. I appreciate it. You have a great day. Thank you.